Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of It's Our Relative. So, I guess my footage got cut off and I said a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna repeat them again. So, yeah, this is our second Charmander Community Day. The first one was back in May 2018, so two and a half years ago. And that time we were at Australia, sorry. The thing about this shiny Charmander is that, uh, well, we've been through this before. We have shiny Charizards already. But I guess the main thing we're going to be looking for is that Charizard with Dragon Breath as the fast move, so yeah. Uh, but in this episode, we're going to be looking at Charmander, Charizard, and Giratina, shiny Giratina. So that's the one we haven't been looking at. And so also not to mention, there's also 12 kilometer eggs from like Shadow Egg or what they call it. So we're going to look through that later. And here is the shiny Charmander that we just caught, but my footage got cut off just now. So yeah, I didn't actually show you guys the catching part, but you guys seen shiny Charmanders before, it's been out for so long, so it's not really a new thing. And you guys can tell it's super hot today, and this guy has 15 attack. Okay, cool. Alright, so there's actually a Giratina just down the road. Like, it just spawned. And we're gonna head up and see if there's anybody that can fight with us. And in the meantime, we're gonna see if we can get as many Charmanders as possible. And it's so hot, why is it so hot today? Oh my god, the heat is unbearable. I guess it makes sense. It's, Char uh, it's Charmander day, so it's gotta be hot. Okay, here we go. We have Giratina here right now. Five people, man. Hopefully we can take it down, you know, because I don't have this shiny yet. I have the outer one, but not this one. Day is a hot day. It's a really hot day. Do you guys like my new hat? I know I've been wearing the same hat all the time, so I thought I'd change it up. I know it's black still, but you know, it's nice. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind coming out without wearing a hat. Like, you know, I think my previous episode, I wasn't wearing a hat. Uh, but the reason why I wear a hat, if you guys must know, is because of the sun, you know, it's super hot and I have to wear a hat because number one, or else my face is just gonna get burned, you know, like, come on, you guys can see the heat, right? It's actually really, really hot. It's a good thing there's two raids here because uh, the first one that is right here, there's not enough people, so I kind of remote raid somewhere else and yeah, we managed to take one down. Let's see if we can get a shiny off the bat. Okay, here we go, guys. Shiny. <sighs> 2045, I don't think that's great because 21 something is the one you're looking for. Well, I did not manage to find enough people for the second raid, we'll wait for that, but we did manage to find a second shiny Charmander. 696. That's a cool CP number. Shiny Charmander number two. Not sure how many I want because I think I have a few already at this point. So I, I don't know how you guys feel about this, about this shiny Charmander day. Like, I know you guys really like Charmanders, like, majority you guys do, but. Really? Second shiny Charmander community day? Just doesn't cut it for me. I don't know. But one of the main things we're going to be doing today is we're going to hatch the 12km eggs. Uh, I'm trying to collect at least three before I hatch them so that you know can hatch all three of them at one time. But uh, so far I already collected one and I hatched one already. Uh, ooh, this Charmander is not bad. Uh, so another thing is that I wanted to recap what happened last week and I was able to get a brand new shiny. Uh, this is nothing to do with shiny Charmanders anymore. This is shiny Vulpix, right? So shiny Vulpix has been out uh, for a while already. Managed to get one. Kind of cute, you know. I want to get two before I evolve one of them to a Ninetales. But yeah, we finally got our shiny uh, Vulpix. So let's take a look at this guy. Very beautiful. Very cute. I still don't have an Alola shiny Vulpix yet, so that's the one thing I'm looking for. Yeah, anyway, I got one 12km egg right here. We're gonna hatch them. I'm gonna hatch this one later with another one. So I'm trying to see if I can get more like, I'm gonna fight more team leaders so that I can get um, another egg. Then we can hatch maybe two at a time. We'll see. 2071. Mm, terrible IVs, guys, but that's not what we're looking for. Looking for that blue boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 2071. Okay, so we're gonna be battling another raid, but this time I'm actually joining a raid that was um, by you, Nelson Lim. Thanks for inviting me, and this is back in Penang, so I really miss home. I haven't been back in Penang for almost a year already. Soon, uh, I do. I must address that sometimes I know I notice that a lot of you guys actually do invite me to raids, but number one, I repeat myself a lot of times. The reason why I cannot join is because I don't actually have a remote raid pass. But recently, they've been giving out free raid passes every Monday or every week in this case, so I can only join once per week. Unless I buy them, which I rarely do. <laughs> and it doesn't seem like I have to go very far for this community day. I'm just hanging out around this area. Like, this place is so beautiful. It's like trees and plants and like grass everywhere. Like, and there's like so many poker stops here. So technically speaking, I don't really have to move, you know? And it's really hot, so I don't want to move as well. <laughs> 
that's why I'm like scouring around uh, like shades and trees and stuff. You know, it's it's nice. It's nice. Giratina is down. Let's see if the Penang Giratina can give me a shiny one. That would be kind of cool. All right, two zero whatever. You know, not that great. Thanks, Nelson. Thanks, man. All right, <clears throat> shiny time. Maybe Nelson can give me that shiny. Perhaps. I was really hoping it was, but nah. Two zero six eight. Thanks anyway, man. Alrighty, guys, we are going to be battling our first elite boss. I heard that Cliff got easier, like, actually the leaders got easier because their Pokemon is much simpler now. Uh, yeah, this should be Kickwalk, I hope. Oh, by the way, we can get a shiny Omanite. Shiny Shadow Omanite. That would be kind of cool if we can get it. Uh, yeah. Okay, first one is down. Let's see what's the second guy. Come on, Onyx. Onyx down. Let's see the third one. Tyranitar. Let's see if we can get that shiny Omanyte. Talking egg. Our, our low sticker. Yeah, that's the egg we're looking for. Alright, let's see. Uh, no, not shiny. Let's get one more egg and then we can. We have to start walking around. Tough cam. Good thing it's like one fourth of distance only would be required, so that's kind of nice. Alright, we found Sierra for our second uh, elite battle for today. Ooh, drowsy. Okay. Uh, I heard they say that a lot of these new shiny shadow Pokemon is easier to get in terms of their shiny form so uh, we still haven't gotten one yet <laughs> but uh, I already heard from a few of my friends that they already got like a shiny shadow Growlithe, a Drowsy and an Omanyte so I'm really hoping for my turn yeah. Drowsy is down and it's a shift tree interesting choice it really made it easier this time you know okay let's see if we can get that shiny shadow Drowsy that would be nice we still don't have a shiny shadow yet not one at this point Okay, come on, come on. Yes, we got our third egg. Okay, shiny time, shiny time. <laughs> yeah, like we are that lucky. Nah. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so after this, we're gonna hatch three 12km eggs. Uh, maybe you can get something good out of it. Uh, if I heard that it's rubbish in it, so yeah, it's a good reference for rubbish Pokemon. Anyway, let's do the incubation right now. So here we go. Uh, three 12km eggs. We're going to go into incubator so we just need to walk 2km so that's kind of nice and this one is gonna go into this one all right i'll see you guys in 2km guys 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 i just found a new brand new pokemon i just hatched it i just hatched it axio i just hatched an axio pokedex entry axio <laughs> we have never found this guy ever ever since it was released oh our first axio Dope, man. Oh, I'm happy already. So we're currently under this scorching hot sun. Uh, we're just taking a walk like to just get over that 2km. But in the meantime, I think we're just going to do a very quick evolution because number one, we're looking for that Charizard with that Dragon Okay, so while we're walking and waiting for the egg to hatch, I think we're going to evolve one of the Charmeleons to Charizard because but we're looking for that Dragon Breath uh, uh, moveset, right? God, it's so hot today. All right, here we go. Charmeleon to a shiny Charizard. You guys like shiny Charizard's evolution, right? So at least we're gonna do one in this episode. <clears throat> Here we go. Shiny Charizard. Oh, it looks, looks nice, looks nice. With this, we finally have Dragon Breath as our fast move. And I think that's the main thing everyone's doing for this community day. Because, you know, when you evolve it to Mega Charizard, it's actually quite useful. Hey, we found another shiny. <laughs> 579 CP. Cool. I forgot, is this our third one for today? Third or fourth, right? I know we didn't get that many, honestly, because, uh, well, not really looking for it, since, you know, Shiny Charmander is just like that for me. I don't know why everyone's all so hyped about it, though. There's actually a lot of Charmanders here, so maybe we can find another one, perhaps. Oh, by the way, I want to show you guys the floating apple. Uh, it's actually here. 
at Marina Bay Sand and I actually never had a chance to actually show you guys so today's the day so we're just going to take a really quick look before we hatch the eggs I think most likely around the same time guys do not play Pokemon Go while walking down the stairs do as I say not as I do because you're gonna hurt yourself but there's like so many but I don't know which one is a shiny Jesus Christ man even more spawn there's like so many Charmanders what is happening yeah too many none of them are shiny either oh well okay let's go to the Apple store so here it is the Apple floating store I call it the Apple Dome but it's not actually called Apple Dome it's just called the floating apple store or something such a weird name but okay but anyway it's right in front of me I'll show you guys in a close-up uh, but the problem is that you cannot just go in from what I heard you need to like reserve or like book appointment or something to go in I'm not sure I need to double check on this but all I know is I don't really see people like randomly going in from public so I'm guessing only certain people can go in yeah anyway it's a very very cool thing that is here that I did not actually have time to come and look at it until now so for those of you guys that actually never been here here it is <clears throat> hold that thought I see people inside like I think I can just go in let me try let me try I'll, I'll try to see if I can get inside it's kind of cool anyway here we are right in front of the Apple floating store uh, <laughs> it's kind of nice I thought all this time you need like a reservation to get in Hi, can I just walk in? Oh, you need to go down from this opening, the basement to the entry. Yeah. This is only for exit. Oh, uh, exit, so the entry is... The yeah, but uh, you can check the really uh, available time slot. Oh, there's only available time slot? Uh. So it seems that not anyone can just go in right now because there's an available time slot. Like I said, you need to make an appointment. Uh, right now, this is the exit, not the entrance. The entrance is actually inside this building. Uh, and then you go inside from basement two, and then apparently, yeah, there's like a lower ground area. So that's kind of neat, but I'll show you guys from the outside here. That's that maybe, you, yeah, you can just see it from here. I think that's kind of nice. Anyway, here it is. Look at that, there's people inside across this little dome right here and then like, at the end of the bottom part there's like an underground area there Oh uh, yeah Let's do a close up shall we? go in one day soon but in the meantime let's just hatch some eggs while we are waiting for well I don't know what we're waiting for here we go first one is garbage wow they really gave garbage why do you have to be in this egg I'm looking for that Bisharp small Pokemon I can't remember the name oh, second garbage you kidding me <laughs> one more chance guys please don't please don't mess it up like really absolutely okay okay well i didn't want to show you guys this until i finished hatching this but i actually hatched one poke uh, one tough came eggs i think a few days ago and i actually got a volibi so yes it's a brand new pokemon uh i was hoping i was able to get more brand new pokemon from this hatch but yeah let me just show you guys what i got i got a volibi so yeah that's kind of nice you know but I was actually looking for that Bisharp's uh, small... I can't remember the name. I gotta brush up on my Pokemon anyway. So yeah, unfortunately, three Pokemon, two garbage, one app. So yeah, not, not that great. Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's not really a much, but you know, just wanna showcase a couple of new Pokemon and apparently this Apple floating store. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, guys. Bye.